Hey everybody, I just want you to know that how much I miss you guys. I miss being able to spend time with you up in the Red Room, playing games, laughing, worshiping together, and studying God's Word together. And I hope soon we can get to do that again. So today I want to share with you just a little bit about our lesson. And today our lesson comes out of Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 through 8. But before we get there, think about what we just celebrated last Sunday. And I hope you and your family got to experience Easter Jam and have fun together doing that. If you did it and you'd like to, you can still visit the Parkview website and participate in Easter Jam. But when we celebrate Easter, what we're celebrating is Jesus' great love for us. Like you and I, he had a choice whether to love everybody around him or not. And yet he chose all the time to love everybody around him, even those who didn't love him. He even went to the cross for us, even knowing that we would be, some people would choose to not follow him. Some people would choose to continue to sin, but yet he still died on the cross for them because he loved them. Let's look at our verse this week. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Do not do it because you are proud. Instead, be free of pride. Think of others as better than yourselves. None of you should look out just for your own good. You should also look out for the good of others. You should think in the same way Christ Jesus does. In his very nature, he was God. But he did not think that being equal with God was something he should hold on to. Instead, he made himself nothing. He took on the very nature of a servant. He was made in human form. He appeared as a man. He came down to the lowest level. He obeyed God completely, even though it led to his death. In fact, he died on a cross. Jesus chose to love everybody. And in this passage of scripture, Paul is telling us that we should have that same attitude, that we should love everybody around us all the time, to consider them better than us, to let them go first. And I know that that may not be easy right now. You've spent way too much time with your siblings. You've been cooped up in the house. You've been doing the same things day in and day out. You're doing your schoolwork and it's getting a little hard. And I bet you it was hard for Jesus sometimes too, right? But he chose to love. And in the same way, we need to choose to love. We need to put others first. Jesus put us first, so therefore we need to put others first. So that's my challenge to you this week, guys, to find ways to put others first, to find ways to love others, to find ways to show others that you love them more than you love yourself, that you consider them better than you. It may be hard, but I know you can do it. Give it your very best this week. Have a great week, and I can't wait to see you guys soon.